I immediately saw the double Druk burger and I knew that I that was the one I had to order. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bhutan. We are walking up the road, we are gonna jump in a taxi, and this morning we are heading to a cafe, which I think is called Coffee Culture. We're gonna start off there and see what happens for the rest of the day. This evening we are gonna attend the Bhutan versus Qatar football match. I think it's a World Cup qualifier, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's coming up later on today in this video. We took a taxi down to the main part of Timpu and we are at a coffee shop called Coffee Culture and we chose to sit outside because the weather is actually quite nice this morning. Uh, it's a little bit cool but it's sunny and nice weather, fresh air. That's a warming cup of coffee. Mm, good flavor too. Maybe one of the most famous things at this coffee shop that they're really no well known for is their emadatsi momo. And momo are the dumplings, uh, which are steamed. And then emadatsi is cheese and chilies. So these are dumplings filled with cheese and chilies, served on the side with some eze chili sauce, which is always a, a good accompaniment to a momo. Let me add a little bit of that on there and it does look spicier than it is, so it's not that spicy. But I think, oh, these are beautiful. What I really love about these already is just how intricately folded they are with all those little rivets. I was contemplating about taking this all in one bite, but actually, in order to see what's inside, I think I might, I better just bite half of it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's like nacho cheese sauce inside of a noodle wrapper with a bunch of chili sauce on top. I think there's an entire chili in the middle of this dumpling. And then, like, tastes like melted mozzarella in the middle of it. And then the noodle is a little bit, like, sticky al dente. And finally for breakfast, I'm having the club sandwich. There is are a bunch of layers in the sandwich. I think that's chicken salad. There's cheese. Oh, cheese. Yes, more cheese. There's egg. There's bacon and tomato. And I'll pull out that toothpick. Oh, I lost some onions or something. Mmm. Good. The chicken salad is creamy. A little bit mayonnaise-y. Then there's cheese. You can never Never go wrong with cheese in Bhutan, that's for sure. Um, tomato. Oh, and the bacon. Oh, that's what I tasted in the last bite, that bacon. Everything is good, but these momos are the, the winner, that's for sure. I gotta go in for one more momo. And this place is also famous for their pastries. Uh, famous in Timpu for their pastries. And so we got a chocolate lava cake. I'm not huge on sweets or desserts myself, uh, but the girls are really gonna enjoy this. Uh, Ying will love it, but I am gonna just taste a bite of it. And especially, I am gonna crack it open and hopefully it will ooze with, oh yeah, I can smell that chocolate. So I think it's warm still. Okay, are you ready for this? Like an egg, oh. <laughs> Is that what you're supposed to do? Just let it run? Yes, okay, that is like an egg yolk, except black. Let me try a little bit of that. Wow, you can just smell the chocolate coming off of that. A little bit of ice cream. Oh wow, that is impressively good though. We are now walking to the Tarayana Vast Museum, which should be just a short walk from here and we're gonna go to this museum now. Our responsibility is to share whatever we know with the younger artists, the upcoming artists, so that we can 
start a kind of a contemporary art movement in the country. And this is more of an art painting gallery uh, where some artists, local Bhutanese artists, uh, display their works. And I think the paintings are on sale, but really some, I'm really enjoying it, really some impressive pieces. Check out that piece right behind me. And then, yeah, look at the detail and the color in this painting. This is actually an open studio, art studio. So anyone can come here just to hang out and also do art. But this outside gallery, which is right next to the river, is pretty cool. There are some sculptures and some outdoor paintings, uh, and it's actually kind of a artistic park. We now just jumped into a taxi and we're on our way to go eat lunch. We are going to a restaurant for lunch today. It's called Cloud Nine, and I didn't know what they served, but on the sign up there, it says they serve gourmet burgers. So I might be in for a, a burger coming soon. I immediately saw the Double Druk burger, and I knew that I, that was the one I had to order, and it has just arrived in all its glory. This thing is gigantic. There's a skewer in the middle. That bun is solid. Oh man, is this a is this even a picker upper? I think I think I'm gonna try. This could get messy, but I think the best way to eat a burger is definitely just to pick it up with your hands and just and just stuff yourself. So I'm gonna attempt. A long time since I've had a burger. That beef tastes really natural and mm, really good quality beef. The bacon, that creamy cheese, and then the egg, and then the bread is really crispy. And I'm sorry about the cheese or sauce that's on my mouth, but that is that is just a a part of eating a burger, especially of this magnitude. Okay, let me just set this down real fast and try the fries. Oh, those already feel crispy just in my fingers. And the sauce looks like a, it looks like sriracha mayo. Look at that. Or is it cheese? Mm. Mm. I don't think it's cheese. I think it's, I think it's like spiced mayonnaise. Okay, coleslaw. Coleslaw is nice. Mm. There are some onions in there and carrots as well. Oh wow, that's a very fresh touch to this meal. That burger has almost put me out of commission, but I'm on my last bite. Yeah, final bite. I think this is my final bite. Yeah, that can be done in one bite. That was a really good burger. I'm feeling kind of lazy after eating that now but we are walking back towards the center of Timpu. Gonna walk around. I'm not sure if we have any other plans until the game, the match, football match tonight. So we may just kind of wander around or I'm thinking we might go back to the house to get a little bit of work done and then come back. It is a freezing cold night. The <laughs> wind is blowing. Oh man, it is really cold. I hope we're gonna be warm enough. <laughs> oh yeah, it is cold. <laughs> Security is pretty tight. This is an official FIFA match and we are into the stadium now. We chose a seat in the middle section. Uh, that's what our tickets are for. It's pretty, really, really cool actually. We got a great view. The stadium is not too big, but it's really friendly and 
I love the Bhutan style, uh, the culture of it, and the teams are now warming up. So Qatar is down in the black, and then uh, Bhutan is in the orange. As we were entering the stadium, they handed us these little uh, blow up, like, I don't know what you call them, uh, but you hit them together and you make a sound. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, I think I figured it out. I have to admit, it took a little while, but I figured out how to blow these up. Um, we're ready to go. It is halftime, the score is 2-0, and it is freezing cold now. At halftime, Matt got me a press pass, so I can go onto the field, and they don't allow any video, but I'm gonna try to get some photos. So I am acting like a like an official FIFA photographer right now. I got the, the red vest on. This is the press pass, so this is pretty cool. I won't be able to make take any videos down there, but I'm gonna go walk around uh, on the edge of the field. We made it back home. That was a really good game. Bhutan did not win, but they played really well. And, oh yeah, I even forgot to take off my red vest and the, the press pass. I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. I am cold and tired. So thank you all very much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And see you all tomorrow for the next video.